What's up everybody, this is the KB15, and welcome back to some Pokemon X. So last time, we beat the uh, gym leader Olympia in our, the 7th gym, and this time uh, we got that, you remember we got that call from, to go to the Team Flares hideout in New York City? Um, so yeah, here we are. Uh, so we're just gonna uh, skip, ah, uh, dang it, why did I click on her again? Alright, now, this is it, this is Lissandra Cafe, and let's go in. Okay, it's kind of got that bad music here. Today our special is, get out of here or else. Ooh, this guy's a team player member. And he's just a, he's a grunt, even though he's like a waitress, or a cook, or whatever. Okay. We got a Scrafty, it's fine. Because we have Phantom. And Phantom's actually not going to be the dude, don't do much. So, we're actually going to go out to our Florgus. And here we go, Forgus. Okay, speed fell. That's fine, though. And now we can use a Moon Blast, and that should take it out. So today, um, we're going to be aiming to finish the Team Flare stuff. Um, we have to finish this hideout, and then we have to go somewhere else. So I don't know if we'll do the other place this episode. We'll just see what happens. Um, see how long this takes. We're gonna have to break it up into two episodes. Oh no, he'll find out the password to the hidden door in the cafe is Open Sesame. Are you kidding me? Today's special is Scramble, if you don't want to get out of here now. Okay. So we already know the password is Open Sesame. So it's just basically Sesame Street. Okay, and we got a live pardon. And Dark is super effective against Ghost, so we're gonna actually switch out then to... Let's go to Lucario. Lucario can use a fighting type move. And a Night Slash. Huh. Okay. So let's go to use a Power Up Punch. We don't need a Mega Evolve, so... Boom. Defeated Lipard. And Charizard's 57, that's good. Alright. So now we should be able to open this. Whoa, at this rate he'll find out there's a hidden door to Asandre Labs. Okay, I bet you it's this. Oh yep, yeah, it's the... Um, the piece of furniture giving off a mysterious vibe is a hidden door. Kyle said the password in front of the hidden door. Open sesame. There we go. And let's go to Lissandre Labs. Okay. Oh, it's Lissandre. What? Welcome. This world will eventually reach the point of no return. Saving the lives of all is impossible. The only chosen ones will obtain a ticket to tomorrow. Do you have a ticket, or do you want to stop me? Show me in battle. Oh my goodness. He's just like Captain Falcon, he's like, show me your moves. Oh my goodness. He, he's, he's basically Goku Super Saiyan 4. Or, yeah, that, actually that would be Go Gogeta, I think. I don't know. But he sends out a mean Fu, and we're gonna go... We're gonna use a leech seed. We're gonna use um Phantom. Acrobatics almost just killed us right there. That was close, and we're gonna have to switch out now. Okay. At least Phantom will get some experience now. So let's go to Charizard. Cause yeah. I don't get why does he have a mean Fu at level 45? Because I thought mean Fu evolved to mean Shao around then. Alright, now Charizard gets that leech seed benefit. And let's use a flamethrower. And there we go. Mean Fu has been defeated. And let's see, come on. Alright, Gyarados. Um. 
Ooh, electric type is good against that, but we don't have any electric type moves. Let's go out to um Florgus. Because Florgus can use a Moonblast. I don't think he he can't mega evolve his Gyarados yet. Cause I know he does soon, but not now. Alright, now we can use a moon blast real fast. A real fast moon blast. Oh my goodness, that did nothing. And Iron Head's super effective against us, wow. Alright, I don't know what should I, what I should do. Alright, I'm gonna use another moon blast just because I can. And oh dang it, almost took him out. Oh my goodness, we're almost dead. Let's we can use actually another moon blast, and that will kill it then. And uh, we should still be alive, so that's good. It's always good to be alive. All right, and Lucario's level fifty-five. That's good. Close combat, we'll take it. I'm actually gonna forget Oris. Actually, no, not Oris here. Uh, oh, only if I can see Lucario's stats, because we never used Sword Dance, let's forget that. Because I can always remember Sword Dance with the TM then. Yeah. Alright, because it depends. If Lucario's more of a sp uh, special attacker, I'd keep Aura Sphere. But, I don't know. It's hard to say. Alright, so we're going to switch out if he has a Murkrow. Let's actually switch out to Greninja. And give everybody some experience this battle. Alright, Murkrow. And let's use a Surf right here. Surf should take it out. That's only level 45. Yep, and it takes it out. Good job, Greninja. Alrighty. So then, Florgus is 55. Florgus is a powerful Pokemon. I'm, I'm just saying. Alright, so he sends out a Pyroar. And it's a male one. So it has that big, luscious mane. But it's too bad that we're gonna use a Surf and take it out. And there we go, we just feed the Pyroar. Oh, we almost leveled up right there. That was close. And we defeated uh, Lissandre. Excellent. I feel the fire of your convicts burning deep within your heart. Alright, we stopped him right there. Wahaha! Your convictions, and those of your Pokemon, please me. You are here to stop me, but I ask you to wait. I tried to save people, and the world, with the profit from the lad. But my efforts had no effect. The world was just too vast, and too full of fools, that I couldn't save through my hard work alone. That's why I've decided the only way to save the world was to take it all for myself. I, didn't ex I don't expect that I will ever make you understand how I think and feel. Try to stop the ultimate weapon if you must, but to do so, you will have to explore our lab and have Pokemon battles with all you meet. Okay. Oh, and for the elevator key, one of the Team Flare scientists you've met on your journey has it. Saving everything. The world is suffering because of this absurd dream. Okay, so we have to go deeper into the lab. So the only way we can go right now is this way. Aw, oh, are you kidding me? I forgot about this. This is one of those stupid, like, spinny puzzles. Uh, let's just battle this person to get out of the way. Oh, oh, dang it, we're not healed, though. You'll be captivated by the warp panel and transported away. Alright, we'll see how fast we can get through this place, because hopefully we can finish this, this one this episode. Um, I'd like that finish this place and then we can go to the other place next episode because this is actually gonna be kind of long if we did both it'd be over an hour so but that's kind of a long episode so i'm just gonna break it up into two then all right so stockpile okay and let's use a bone rush we don't need to mega evolve because it's only one pokemon Did I miss or something? What happened? I missed? What? There we go, Bone Rush. 
Come on, one more attack. One more, one more. Oh, there we go. That did it anyway, so. Three hits was pretty good. And Phantom's 49. Woodhammer, yes, we'll take it. We'll take it over Grass Knot any day. So I have to look up, I have to do a little research of when we're actually going to evolve Phantom. Um, because then that would be awesome. And if you didn't see, Greninja is 57 as well. So Phantom is actually catching up pretty good. He's less than 10 behind everybody, so. Alright, now we can go. Because if we go through here, the only way we can go is that way. So let's. I guess we can only go on this warp panel, so let's do it. We should be on the same floor, so... Oh, hey, one of the scientists. Joy. Alright, so, let's see, who do we want out? Uh, let's actually go Charizard. Charizard's pretty healthy right now. We have Charizard, Lucario, and Greninja are pretty high on HP. Ah ha ha! Why, if it isn't the fascinating little trainer from the Kalos Pokemon P Power Plant. So we meet again, just as I said we would. Alright, Al Alina, uh, she sends out Mightyana, and I should have gone Lucario, but it's fine. Lucario already had his couple minutes of fame. So let's go a Mega Evolution Flamethrower. Alright, there we go, we got Charizard. Mega Charizard X. And boom, we took up that Mighty Anna pretty fast right there. Alright, then uh, Dredagon. Let's keep battling. Actually, Dredagon would be super effective against us. I don't know why I did this. Um, we should have gone out to Forgus or something. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. That was a close one. Oh, if he uses... He's gonna use Dragon Claw again. So, if we go to Florgus, it won't affect us. So... Alright, uh, here's... Here's a good plan right here. This is like, seeing the future. Boom, it doesn't affect. Alright, can we get off this hit, Moonblast? Alright, there we go. Very good, Florgus. Florgus got off that Moonblast faster than Jordagon. So... That was awesome. And we defeated Elena. Al Alina? I don't know how to say her name. Alana. Alright, but then there we go, we finished that battle. So that's not the one with the key, but yeah. I don't have the key, but I'll let you pass. But which warp panel could it be? Which do you should you be? I don't know. I can't read at all. I is it gonna be let's try green. Why not? And it's the row, is it the right one? We'll see. It uh, looks like to be right. Alright, here we go. It's because it's up there on the top left right now, that's where we were. Um, so let's battle this guy. Um, do we have Charizard out? Yeah, we should. Alright, let's just go out with Charizard then. Time for me to lay waste to you and your Pokemon and finally get recognized by the admins. Oh yeah, Team Flare for the win. Alright. Well, speaking of Team Flare, though, I think it's time for question of the day. Alright, so the question of the day for this episode is, what is your favorite enemy team in the Pokemon series? So there's a bunch of enemy teams. Um, there's, uh, so you can start off with Kanto and Johto having Team Rocket. Then you have Team Aqua and Team Magma from Hoenn. Then you have Team Galactic from Sinnoh. Then you have Team um, Plasma from Unova, and finally Team Flare uh, from the Kalos region. So, out of all those, I have to say that my favorite is actually going to be Team Galactic. Because Team Galactic is, I don't know, they seem like they had a bigger cause than everybody else because Team Rocket worked just for money. Team Flare and Team, I mean, Team Aqua and Team Magma, um, I don't know, they just... Uh, they just wanted the powers of those Pokemon. Like, uh, they wanted to increase the land or increase the sea. Um, but then, uh, Team Galactic, 
Actually, Team Plasma. Um, Team Plasma is good too. They might be my second favorite. They just want a world domination, but then um, Team Flare just want to make everything beautiful. But Team Galactic, they wanted to control the world, and they wanted to um, collect control all three Pokemon: Dialga, Palkia, and um, Giratina. And they wanted to like destroy the world too. So I believe they wanted to control it and destroy it. So. That's pretty bad, if you ask me, so... Let's go over here first. Oh, we can't go through there. I don't know, I don't want to go outside yet. I feel like I could go this way. Alright, so then what's this? Oh, here's another outside path. Um, let's battle this guy for, for, before we do anything else. So, let's actually switch up to Greninja first. Because Charizard is a little beat up, so... Alright, but yeah, I like Team Galactic the best, and second, I do I have to go Team Plasma. Team Plasma is pretty cool, uh, with Get Assist. I really like the story with N and everything like that. That's what makes Team Plasma amazing. Because Black, White, uh, and Black 2 and White 2, those are definitely my four. Like, that's, Unova is definitely my favorite region out of all, because it's just so cool. And it's like, the backstory with it, it's awesome. Alright, but then we defeated Lipard. So that's good. And then Charizard 58, wow. And a Mightyena, we can just keep battling and use a Surf on it to kill it. Alright, so let's use a, another Surf. And boom, we took out the Mightyena. Alright. So our Pokemon are actually going quite a bunch, which is pretty good. Um, we'll have pretty strong Pokemon when it comes to the Pokemon League, and that will help a lot. And then we have another trainer. Let's just keep Greninja out. Alright. Team Flare Grunt. A Houndoom. Good thing we have Greninja out. Alright, so let's just use a... Surf on it. Surf is actually a really powerful move. We don't really have super powerful water moves on Greninja yet, so that's why I have Surf still. I could have forgot it back, um, uh, I forget what town it was, but I could have forgot it then, um, but I decided not to. And we should be able to keep battling, because if we use a Psychic type move, well, actually, if we use a Water type move, it'll use Water Absorb. Actually, it has Anticipation, so never mind. I can use Surf then. Because sometimes Toxicroaks will have um, Water Absorb or whatever, and that will allow them to heal if you use a Water Move on them. So, I also had e extra Sensory on Greninja, so then I would be able to use um, Psychic, because it's Poison and Fighting, and it would have been super effective times 4, so... That's pretty good. Alright, so, the good thing about defeating all these trainers, first of all, is we don't have to deal with them later. And, oh, that was a mistake. What did I just do? Okay. Alright, now we can't go that way, then. Um, what if we go this way? Oh, where's the sending us? Really? Oh, no, never mind. This is good. Because we can go through here. Battle this trainer. Oh, you came, wow, you came the, all this way? I suppose I better cheer. Go, Team Flare, go, go, Team Flare. F to the L to the A to the R to the E. Team Flare, go, yeah, 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 yeah. Alrighty. My net trick might have not been the best choice with Greninja. That's fine, we'll, we'll try an extra sensory, see how much that does. And, oh my goodness, it almost killed. That's good. Bite's not going to do much, because one, it's Bite, and two, it's a uh, Dark-type move, and Greninja's Dark as well, so... Alright, so there we go. And Greninja's 58 now, which is awesome. And Florgus is 56. Wow. We're growing a whole bunch today. Alright, we got a Scrafty. Let's keep battling. Greninja will be able to finish it pretty fast. Alright, so let's use a Surf.
Oh dang it, that almost took him out. And then... I use that Surf again. That'll be good. And boom, we took out the Scrafty. Uh, so we should be able to... I don't know, I don't, I don't know how many more trainers there are. What is, a oh, good question is like, what is outside of these, like, in these doors and stuff? But I guess it's time to check it out because that's gonna do something bad. So, why not, let's do it. Oh, hey, it's like little rooms like this. Huh? 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 I've seen this kid somewhere before. So, who is he? I have no idea. But obviously he's not in Team Flare. Let's get him, yeah. Yep, that sounds good to me. I'll get in the first blow. Is it a double battle? Oh, nope. It's just uh, two single battles, I guess. Alright, but I guess I'm gonna get the elevator key from this lady. That would be my best guess. And I feel like I should have gone through those doorways I was, as I was going. Um, but it's fine. Alright, so we have another mana trick. We'll use extra sensory. And that didn't do as much as last time. Dang it, we're paralyzed. That's dumb. That's really dumb. Hopefully we can get off this extra sensory. Ouch, 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 ouch. Greninja! Alright, there we go. Boom, we took out the Manetric. And let's see. Hopefully she has like a Houndoom. Nope, a Drapion. Um, let's switch out to... Drapion is Poison and Bug. Let's go Lucario. Because Lucario will then be able to use a Bone Rush, and that should be able to do a good amount of damage. Alright, Bone- oh, it avoided. Night Slash isn't going to do much to us. Alright, so let's use Bone Rush again. What? How does it keep avoiding? Like, what is this? Alright, come on. This is- it's gotta hit this time. There we go. Dang, this is a powerful Drapion. Why did Bone Rush only hit twice? Alright, I'm not playing any more tricks. It's time for a Mega Evolution Close Combat. Here we go. No more tricks to be played. Because tricks are for kids. Boom! Close combat. Sickest move in the game. I have, to, I have to... Like, let's be real, though. Close combat is so cool in this game. Like, it's so much better than it has been in the past. Alright. Now we have another battle. What? What a brute. Look at poor Cloessa. Cloessia. Celsosia? Celosia? I don't know. Bryony? These guys have the weirdest names ever. Like, seriously. Alright, we got a life card. We'll be able to take it out, hopefully, with Greninja. Even though we're paralyzed. Ah, uh, dang it, fake out, really? Fake out's a stupid move. Such a stupid move. And, oh my goodness, we almost died. We have like 6 HP. Boom, we took out the live part. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, Greninja. That's coming clutch in the paint right there. And a Basharp. We'll go out to Lucario. We're gonna use another Mega Evolution Close Combat, because it's so awesome. Alright, so let's go Mega Evolve. Close combat. Boom, there we go. Awesome. That was that was cool. Bisharp is a pretty cool Pokemon too. I have to I have to admit I'd uh I'd like if Bisharp was a Kalos Pokemon, I would definitely have him on our team right now. But he's not. He's Unova, so... Can't do that. What's this? Who have you brought, thought a child like you could beat us both? You and your Pokemon were utterly in sync in that battle, and I know why. Y you here for answers, aren't you? 
I suppose you were at your mercy. I will tell you what I know, at least. We've been using the power of electricity we stole from the power plant to get everything prepared for activating the ultimate weapon. But it's not like that all we need to use it. Are you following me? We'll need energy absorbed from Pokemon to power the device. Yeah, it's the stones at Route 10 that will steal the ener that energy for us and power the ultimate weapon. In reality, those stones that line Route 10 are the graves of Pokemon. The ultimate weapon was used at to end that horrible war over 3,000 years ago. It stole the lives of all those Pokemon. Their lives were the price of peace then. And if we want to make our own wishes come true today, we and Team Flare also have to sacrifice something precious. Okay, um, that was interesting. I guess I don't get the key from them. Alright, um, alright, I guess we have to do a little more exploring in order to get that, um, key, but it's fine. We'll actually go this way. We'll have to, uh, check out those doors. Actually, why not? Let's, um, let's start with this. See where this takes us. Hey, it's an item. We'll take it. Hyper Potion? Uh, that's good. We're actually gonna switch up for a ninja while I'm thinking about it. Because we don't want him to die, so we'll go to Charizard. And we have all our Pokemon below yellow health. So that's not really good. That's not good for anybody. Alright, so let's head this way. And we have another battle. No, really, I understand. It's the only nature to be jealous of a suit as stylin' as mine. Alright, I would never wear one of those red suits in my life. Maybe if it was black, because I like that black sleek tie with that white shirt. That's kind of nice. I don't know. Alright, so let's go a flamethrower. Let's just finish it off. No mega evolution needed. Boom, we defeated the gold bat. That was a quick battle. Alright, that was like 20 seconds. Are you kidding me? That was like the fastest battle ever. Alright, so now we, let's try out this warp pad. I should have gone back before and checked them out. Alright, so oh, this is from before. We'll battle this team player. Haha, -ha. it sure does feel good to let loose every once in a while. Spying on people's holocaster conversations gets boring pretty quick after all. Huh. So they spied on us. And she has two Pokemon. Toxicroak. Alright, before we do this, I'm gonna have to pause my camera real fast. So I'll be back in just one second, guys. Alright, sorry about that guys, but we're back, um, I just had to pause my camera because, um, it would have stopped recording otherwise, um, and, yeah. Alright, so we go, we defeat the Toxicroak, so that's good. And, Charizard's 59, wow. Charizard is growing so, so fast. And a Lipard, um, let's keep battling, just because Charizard's too strong. Alright, so we, uh, we can use a flamethrower. And... Alright, we got all that EXP, that's good. So what we have to do is we have to check out all these warp panels, and we're gonna also gonna check out the doors and stuff. To see what they have to do. So let's check out this door first. Oh, there's somebody in here that we... I bet she's gonna have the key. Let's go explore everything else before we get the key. Um, just because we want to kind of go in order. Oh, really? Why did I do that? There we go. Now we can go this way. Let's try going through here. Let's go boom. We're, I think we already got that warp panel. Um, so that's fine. Oh, uh, why did I do that? Why why did I do that, guys? We're supposed to go on this. This takes us to back here. Let's check out what this one does real fast. Is this just going to bring us back to the front? Dang it. Why did I do that? Now we can go through here. We have a couple doors we can explore up here. Like if we go... This way. 
goes through this door. Oh, hey, it's Dexio and... What's the other guy? Girl. No son of them here either. You! Have you seen anything? We're looking for a really tall guy. I mean, tall. If you stretched out a survivor and stood it up, he'd be that tall. We received some intelligence that Team Flare is also trying to find him for some reason. His relationship to Team Flare is still a mystery, but... Oh, by the way, I've got something for you. Take these, Kyle. And we got revives, that's good. Oh wait, we met some time ago, but I didn't get your name then. I've never heard of your name before, not once. Uh, anyway, we came here at a certain professor's request to stop Team Flare. I assume your goal is the same. Don't do anything reckless, okay? So let's just Dexy on the other girl. Can they heal? Alright. Um... No, they're not gonna heal me. Wow. Okay. So they're... They don't... They don't think they... Uh, uh, sorry, I can't talk. They act like they don't know who I think they are, but I already know. Um, so it's a shame. So let's head through here, see if we can heal up anywhere. What? You want to lie down and take a little nap? Hmm, what a softy. Do you think you can really use this TDM? Taunt? I'll take it. It's... I don't know, you can use it competitively a little bit. Alright, let's take this. We got a never revive. Wow. I wonder if we can just lay down and take a nap. Oh my, you took off Team Flare's awesome suit? You didn't want to get it all wrinkled in bed, eh? Oh yeah, we can take a rest. Sweet. Alright, there we go. Let's just check the trash can. Why not? And it's empty. Wow. I always I always check the trash cans. You never know what's going to be in them. Alright, so now we can go up here. Remember, we already battled her. And let's see. How are we going to get to that warp panel right there? Dang it, wrong way. No, 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 no. Aw, oh, really? Okay. What does this one do? We don't want to go that way. We don't want to go down there. So this is the only option. Where is it? Ta oh, really? It's gonna... Okay. Went that way. Now, what if we go through here? Is there gonna be, like, a warp? Panel? Oh, yeah, we already battled them. I forgot. Duh. Alright, now... I think, what if we go this way? Oh, yeah, I remember we already did this. No! Okay, now we go through here. Because we have to get to that side over there somehow. I think, what if we go through this door? Because I already went in this warp thing. Oh, we have to go through... No, we don't have to go through that one. Is it this one? Yes, yeah, this one. Now let's go. Now right, let's check out in here. Let's talk to this lady. Oh, and I think we can just go up or something. I don't know. But now let's just talk to her. We have all our Pokemon healed. Let's start off with the Phantom so you can get some experience. Alright, let's battle this one with the key. Oh, 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 oh! You're the kid from the Foss Cavern. On your lonesome this time. Oh, that's cold. Colder than that cavern. Your Pokemon don't even count for anything. We gathered data from all the trainers in the region of through the Holocaster. So we know all about you guys. And you know about the Mega Ring is used to awaken Pokemon's power, right? Just like how the ultimate weapon can max out a Pokemon's power. Hey, hey, hey. Looks like you and me are practically after the same thing, eh? Okay, I read that a little fast. That's fine. And we got, um, Mabel. And she has a Houndoom. Kind of bad choice to send out, uh, Phantom, but it's fine. Alright, so let's go out, let's use a Greninja real fast. Alright, Greninja should use, uh, Surf to kill it, so... Alright, let's use that Surf then. And it took out the Houndoom. It's awesome. And we leveled up to 59. Greninja's, Greninja might be level 70 by the time we 
challenge the Pokemon League. Phantom's level 51, that's good. Lucario's level 57. Wow, everybody leveled up. So we'll switch out since there's a Weavile. Let's go out to Lucario. And let's just use a close combat, not Mega Evolved. Alright, so there we go. Close combat. And we took out the Weavile pretty fast right there, so that's good. And we defeated Mabel. Alright, so now, I we believe we should get the key. The elevator key, maybe? Alright, yep, we got the key. There we go. I think we can go... Um... Oh, she's talking about the power of the legendary Pokemon, ultimate weapon, stuff like that. Okay, so now we can go... Can't go that way. But there's an item and stuff up there that I want to get. Oh, dang it, why did I go this way? Okay. This all spinning around is kind of tedious. But yeah, let's just go to the elevator now. Let's find out what's in the basement. Let's go to basement floor two. Alrighty, let's see. I'm going down here. What the heck? Listen, one who will face Lissandre. Terribly long time ago. There was a man and a Pokemon. He loved that Pokemon very much. A war began. The man's beloved Pokemon took part in this war. Several years passed. He was given a tiny box. The man wanted to bring the Pokemon back, no matter what it took. The man built the machine to give it life. He brought his beloved Pokemon back. The man had suffered too much. His rage still had not been subsided. He could not forgive the world that had hurt the Pokemon he loved. Then he turned the machine into the ultimate weapon. The man became the bringer of destruction that ended the war. The Pokemon that was given life must have known. That the lives of many Pokemon were taken to restore its life. The resurrected Pokemon left the man.
<laughs> Such a sad story. <laughs> Get the key back. It should not be used. Everything will vanish again. Do you know... Do you want to know the unending pain like I have? That is AZ. He has the same name as the king that lived 3,000 years ago. For some unre unknown reason, he had the key to the ultimate weapon hung around his neck. It's finally time. Follow me to my chambers. What? Is there nothing back here? I will do it for you. I'll get the key back. Alright, so let's go. Alright. What are we in for? Let's go to basement 3. But that's the next floor, I guess. Alrighty. So we have this way. Do we have any... Okay. We just have to go this way. Oh my goodness. Look at the doors. So the Pokeballs we retrieved and the Pokemon we've gathered are they are where they need to be. Add it all up and it means all preparations are complete. The only thing left to do is put the plan in motion. I'm counting on you. One push of a button and we can activate the ultimate weapon from this room. I believe being the chosen one means you have the potential to change the future. Whether we activate the ultimate weapon or leave it safely underground will rest upon if you actually have the potential or not. Wow. Oh ho ho. You're the only one I've heard so much about. I've been waiting for you. I need to do a little research on you. Come on, let us begin. Alright, so we have another scientist here. At Xerix. Zero six. X Rose Six? I don't know, it's just a weird name. Let's be real. Alright, so we have Phantom. Let's actually switch out to... Um... Let's go to Charizard right now. Then we can see if we need to switch out again. Because I forget what... I forget what second Pokemon this guy has, so... We'll just see what happens. Alright, let's use a... Flamethrower. Alright. Cross poison? Don't poison, there we go. And then, boom, we took up the crowbat there, right there. Alright. And Florgus is 57, that's pretty good. Alright, Malamar? Oh, I forgot about this Pokemon. Let's actually switch to... Because it's psychic and dark. Let's go out to Florgus. Malamar is actually a pretty cool Pokemon. Alright. Now let's use a Moonblast. That should be super effective, I believe, so... And boom, it takes it out. One hit. So that wasn't a very good Malamar, then. And we defeated Team Flare. The Xerix, or whatever his name is. Oh ho ho, you're wonderful, your Pokemon are amazing. Wonderful, amazing. You have a tremendous skill and bravery. When you add that up, it means I will tell you something very interesting. It happened 3,000 years ago. The ultimate weapon was used to put an end to the war in an instant. If we use the incredible power, we can finally free K Kalos from foolish humans that plague it. Behind me, you'll find a red button and a blue button. One of them is the button for activating the ultimate weapon. Push one now. Come on, push now. Alrighty, guys. I don't know what to do. The red or the blue button. Blah, red or blue button. So you guys tell me um, in the comments below. And yeah, that'll be the good ending to the episode. So you guys tell me what you'd like me to press, the red or the blue button, down in the comments below. And yeah, that's going to end the episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to click like, comment, subscribe. Um, make sure to answer your red or blue button. And I'll see you guys for the next Team Flare episode.